Today we're going to be designing and milling a crown for tooth number 19 on our patient here using the CERAC Acquisition Center and our CERAC milling unit both by the Serona Corporation. First thing we need to do is powder our preparation for our Acquisition Center. Just a couple quick passes and then on our computer screen we just need to tell the computer what we're doing and we're choosing tooth number 19, a single crown. And now we're in the acquisition phase. With our camera, we're going to capture the preparation and the adjacent teeth. Once we have the existing preparation and the adjacent teeth, We'll capture the opposing teeth. We'll powder it the same with our blue powder. Again, capture the image with our camera. Now that we have the opposing arch, we need to capture the what's called the buckle bite, and that's the teeth together in relation to the upper and lower arch. And there we've acquired all the images that are necessary to create a single unit crown. And now we move on to the design phase. And in this phase, we'll take all those images and put them together into a 3D model. Right now the computer is calculating all those, uh, calculating and putting all those images together. It'll create the lower arch, the upper arch, and the bite. And we'll take those images and stitch them together in just a moment. In this phase of the design, we need to put the images together using the buckle bite and this will allow us to create a three-dimensional model. We're correlating the upper and lower models. Now in this part of the design phase we need to isolate the preparation from the rest of the teeth. So we'll use our cutting tool to digitally cut our model. Similar to creating a die in the laboratory. And you can see here that it creates a single tooth model for us. Now in this phase we have to tell the computer exactly where that crown margin will be, where that the tooth and crown will meet. And now we're going, to we're going to define the insertion axis of the crown, or how that tooth, how that restoration inserts onto the tooth. Now in this phase, the computer is designing a crown based on the specifications that we set, mainly what tooth we're doing and where those margins are. And it has a computer database of what this tooth should look like, and it's trying to fit that design into the space that we've provided. Everything is good and we can move on to the milling process. And here we have our final restoration created in the Wilwarding DiLorenzo Digital Technology Center.